A revolutionary new system in magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, has been invented by Thomas Ernst, a physicist at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, John A. Burns School of Medicine, along with colleagues from the U.S. and Germany. A breakthrough so significant, it will probably be found one day in just about every hospital in the United States. That's the hope for a new local company called Kineticor Incorporated that's commercializing the technology. The biggest challenge with an MRI is patient motion, according to Jeffrey Yu, Kineticor president and CEO. You've got to lie still for 45 minutes in a tube, essentially, and those um, small, motion, small or large motions can compromise the image. It's very similar to taking a picture. You know, you don't want the camera or people moving because it blurs the shots. The blurry, unusable images from such an expensive procedure rack up healthcare costs in the hundreds of billions of dollars each year. Oftentimes, patients, like small children, have to be sedated. Ernst and fellow researchers came up with a solution, perspective motion correction. The idea is really that we track the, put, the movement of the head in real time and then apply corrections to the scanner so that we are, the images are show no blurring, basically. The key is a small marker that is applied to the forehead of the patient. The marker is then tracked by a camera in the imaging machine. The corrections are very fast and they're very highly accurate. I mean, you can actually see people breathe when they're in the scanner. Funding to commercialize the new technology came from the University of Hawaii Upside Venture Fund, HMSA, and the Queen's Development Corporation, all equity investors in Connecticut. It's an example of how research can attract investment. Developing Hawaii's research industry, specifically research done by UH and its partners, like Queen's Medical Center in this case, can play a significant role in Hawaii's economic future. That's the mission of the University of Hawaii Innovation Initiative, or Hi Squared. If we could do that, then uh, more researchers would be interested in coming here. The researchers who are here, you know, get to see their technology being applied and helping people. And then the money that comes in from the commercialization effort can go to fund additional research work. By researchers and scientists like Ernst, who is anxious to see his perspective motion correction technology become an everyday reality. So that ultimately the patients and you know, children, let's say, that are in the scanner that can't hold still, that they're the ones that ultimately need to benefit from this.